I'm going to be reading from another very interesting and dynamic book called The Universal Spider Web, written by Armando Torres. It's just out. It's a recent publication, 2020. Now, those of you that have followed my channel know that I read uh, a lot of his work in uh, the previous book called Encounters with the Nog Wall. And I highly recommend or urge people to go listen to that audio book, audio series. Personally speaking, for someone like myself who's been interested in the, the human condition and the, the spirit of nature and the spirit of man, the works of Castaneda, Carlos Castaneda, and now the works of Armando Torres, one of his apprentices, are among the most important books for me personally in my life. That doesn't mean it'll be the same for you, but there's a few books that if, if something happened and I had to run out of my house because it was burning or something like that, there's a few books I, I wouldn't leave without. And Encounters with the Gnaw Wall is definitely one of them. And I'm reading now The Universal Spider Web, and it appears that this book may be as profound or closely, closely profound to me. So I'm gonna read a little bit, a short chapter well, this is a practical chapter, but hopefully this will impact those of you out there that are familiar with the Toltec teachings and this kind of work. This chapter is called Decision, Action, Reaction. Nothing is coincidental, even when it eludes our comprehension. Intent is in all that exists. To believe that any event happens by chance is equal to saying that we ourselves are a chance of the encounter between our father and our mother, and that among the millions of seeds, we, by chance, were able to reach the goal. Saying that reduces our purpose of being alive to nothing. Even though there are scientists who acknowledge that there is a purpose behind all that exists, others cling to the notion that everything is random, like a game of dice. Sorcerers have discovered that absolutely everything is connected that includes everything living or inanimate being that exists everywhere from the galaxies, stars, and planets down to the microscopic world where everything is equally interconnected. They've discovered that by means of those luminous fibers, it's possible to carry out the most unusual forms of communication among beings of different levels of existence. Sorcerers perceive that even Human behavior is affected according to the patterns of the energy lines that surround us. The sorcerers use those lines to discover secrets and to interfere in things, people, and events. Likewise, they use them to travel unsuspected places within and beyond this world. When we make any type of decision, no matter whether it's conscious or unconscious, some of those fibers of light become agitated. That, in turn, generates vibrations that interfere with other alignments, making the result of any action unforeseeable. We risk our lives every time we make a decision because nobody knows which door death is behind waiting for us. A warrior who humbly accepts his role in the theater of life knows that everything is a game. For that reason, he acts deliberately, in a deliberate way, but with total detachment. Therefore, even when his acts seem to have been prepared in advance, they're truly on the spur of the moment. This is due to the warrior's fluidity. When sorcerers interfere in an event, they should take it into account that the act can generate unexpected resonances in the energy fibers because they affect other fibers in the incommensurable spider's web, making the results unpredictable, just as in the field of modern physics one can only refer to such fortuitous results as uncertainty. Only the most impeccable warriors are able to move those lines without getting trapped in them. When we move one of those filaments, effects are generated. One can say that the sorcerer's task is to dominate the art of pulling on those fibers of energy. Intent is the force of alignment that is behind everything that exists. When we make a decision, or in some way exert our will, we can be sure that we're exercising intent because each decision resonates in the infinite. It's necessary to be conscious of the fact that any decision, 
even the simplest, such as deciding to go for a walk in the park or going to the supermarket can very well result in our death. Under this premise, there are no big or small decisions. It's perfectly possible that by this time tomorrow, they'll be burying you. The only option for the warrior or the common man alike is to be impeccable because nobody knows when the moment in which death drags us away will come. One sole decision can radically change our lives, either for better or worse. Once we choose a course of action, an avalanche of reactions is unchained. And before we realize it, we're trapped in some situation. For some, it's an easy to escape, but for others, it's almost impossible. Those situations are the course of events in which the drama of life unfolds and behind everything as a silent witness is intent. Decisions are situations that we face every day. They appear before us and demand an answer. One knows in an intuitive way when one is about to make a bad decision. But our interests such as ambition or fear get in the way. And later, there's no turning back. On many occasions, one mistaken choice might not only deviate one from the path, but on occasions it can cost us our very lives. Any decision can very well be our last. Without placing any importance on what he decides, for a warrior, the only option is to be impeccable. The most pernicious thing is when a person makes a bad decision and later lives with remorse, passing the rest of his or her life chained to a memory of sorrows that can't be avoided. In general, people decide in the heat of the moment without calculating their possibilities, without thinking about the results of their acts, similarly to when one foolishly signs legal documents without considering that one will have to live with the consequences. The smart way is to follow the technique of the cold head, meaning thinking through, calculating, and evaluating the results that a certain action can carry. Intent continually presents situations in which, like it or not, one has to respond. Even without being aware, one chooses. And once the decision has been made, the same mysterious forces act in consequence. And the process repeats again and again. This is why we're tested, gain experience, and fulfill our purpose for being alive. For sorcerers, nothing is accidental. They see in each proposal a door that opens up and invites them to pass through it. Those are the doors of intent. It is therefore the responsibility of each one to choose individually which battles to enter into and which to avoid. Since once you make the choice, you'll have to live with the consequences. If you have the capacity for discernment, you'll be able to evaluate the situation correctly and with complete indifference. To choose what helps you adva advance on your path, because once you have chosen, the Spirit will continue sending signs to guide you through the chosen path. When everything stops mattering, then you'll be able to choose your predilections freely without making the pointer of the scale move to either side. Since everything is the same, nothing really matters. Saying that the radiations coming from the universal consciousness are the emanations of the cosmic spider web is only an artifice that we use to appease the intellect. The ancients saw that what exists out there is a conscious, enormous force that holds together the whole universe and is beyond any description. Modern scientists call that force gravity, but in fact, that's only the effect that we feel of this being that encompasses everything. The seers perceive it as an amorphous fabric of strands of light floating in space that doesn't have beginning or end. The truth is, that there's no way to refer to that. Things like individuality, time, and space are illusions created by the great spider to create a place for the cosmic dance where the pilot of life is played out. We're all a part of the universal being. We're here to gain experience and to enhance our awareness of being. Since an awareness rich in experiences is the real objective, that's the true reason for our existence. It's not because we see the great entanglement of luminous fibers that we understand the plan of the spider that weaves the destiny of all beings. In fact, we're able to look at things in a detached way, even just a little while, 
we would be able to perceive the flow of events and we would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our parents didn't join by chance. Perhaps in this way, and only in this way, would we have due respect for the monumental price that our ancestors paid so that we could exist, because everything has a purpose in the great scheme of the cosmic spider.